That noise you can hear is drilling going on. It's a little bit quieter than it was just a second ago, but it's very hard to focus and work. So I'm gonna walk into town and enjoy sitting in a coffee shop. I don't mind the hubbub in there, but it helps me to focus as I work. Okay, so I've managed to do quite a bit of work. Just a quick life lesson in doing life well. My office was getting distracting with the noise. I was also finding myself kind of just faffing around with stuff. And so to get focused, I thought, right, here's the list of things I want to do. I'm going to get into a space and do that and not procrastinate. If you put your head around it, put a time frame on it, get into a space, do what you've got to do, you can achieve a lot of things. So tell us what we're doing. We are rolling up duvets to take to Calais so that all of those people who are freezing cold and wet and muddy will have at least something, a little something to keep them a bit warmer. That's what we're doing. That's a lot of duvets. something really special about being awake before anybody else in the house and having some time to read and to pray um, and just connect my heart with God's heart experience his love there's no better way to start the day than that <music> Let me finish that thought that I started this morning about being connected to God's love. My heart was made to be filled and stay connected to God's love. And I tell you, I function and you will function far better if you learned how to do that. Maybe I'll talk about it in another vlog another time. So I just had somebody come and see me that I haven't seen for a few years and they came in bearing a gift. So this is what they bought for me. They said they were at an auction last night, got this, and they wanted me to have it. Let me show you. It is very, very exciting. That's a microphone, which may not seem that exciting, but it's a microphone from one of my heroes, a guy called Reinhard Bonnke. He used this microphone to preach to millions of people in Nigeria. I just thought that was really, really cool. Jesus chose ordinary people. People like me and people like you. And I can see his point. If Jesus enables his servants, he can take the weakest he can take the most ordinary it doesn't matter because the weak will be strong in Jesus name hallelujah